So in today's video, I'll be showing you the Fat and Free Standard and using the follow me mode. Now, if you've been watching my videos, my previous video, especially if you bought a drone for the first time and you bought, your frat, bought yourself a Fat and Free Standard and you had it in beginner's mode, once you've been flying it around a bit, once you feel confident, then it's the time to come off the beginner's mode, put it into normal, and then we can get onto some of the modes. Now, this is what this video is about. Guys, if you don't feel confident yet, you, you don't want to be trying the follow me mode at the moment. Because one, you won't be having your eye on the drone because you probably have your back to it. Now, the idea of the follow me mode, it follows you, but don't forget, it's not really following you itself. It's actually following the controller. Now, if you had the Litchi app, which you have to pay for, now on the Litchi app, it has the follow me mode, but it also has a track mode. Now on the track mode, it does follow yourself and not the controller. But today we're using the DJI Go app. We're using the Fat and Free standard. We're gonna put it into the follow me mode. Now when I bought this drone back in 2015, right at the beginning, I had no problems. Now I think I had a Nexus 7 tablet. Um, and then after a couple of months, I did notice every now and again, it kept losing the, um, the follow me mode or it say it wouldn't connect and I put it down to satellites it's totally wrong it's not nothing to do with the satellites it's to do with the actual phone or tablet you're using now I've always used Android over the years when I moved to Spain I bought myself a really cheap tablet it was amazing um, the first year or so always got follow me mode um, I actually used it in the car so it would follow the car as well and then a couple of years ago, I lost it completely. And I put it down to mainly, maybe because the app hasn't been updated for quite a while now. I think 2017 was the last time they did an update for the Go app for the Fat and Free Stand. And I put it down to that. And I've never actually got it going again. But today, over the past year, I should say, I've changed over to Apple now. All my tablets and my phones now are Apple products should work no problem what we're seeing at the moment but i will show you how, how the following mode works I'll, I'll show you the setup so the first thing you got to do guys is get the drone up in the air now don't, don't forget just do a quick check make sure everything's fine like i said before check the rubbers the pins are not broken put on the props properly tighten them up because you do have a tendency to fly off if you don't check them properly check the battery so now we we're ready to get the drone off the ground. Once we've got the drone off the ground, I'll show you what you've got to do. <laughs> what I've done, I've come out completely, gone back in, put the uh, Wi-Fi back onto the Phantom. Drone's all ready, ready, ready to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the drone off. The home point has been a takeoff. Right, I'm going to put the picture on now, the video I mean. Right, so I'm going to get it up. Gonna get it up. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna walk out a bit. I'm gonna put on the other, all the cameras, eh? Right, I'm gonna put on the GoPro camera now. Okay. What I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna keep an eye on the on the drone. Good idea to keep an eye on the drone when you're doing these things, just in case something goes wrong. It shouldn't do. But sometimes, right, so I'm gonna bring the drone back. I've got the sun in my eyes. There it is, the drone's back. Okay, so the drone's ready. Flick the switch down on the right hand side, the S1 switch. You see on the left hand side, the little drone symbol, we press that. You've got the follow me mode, okay. Now I'm at 58 feet, so it's saying plain enough it's blue. It's saying I've got a strong connection, so I apply it. Aircraft too far, cannot. So it's too far, so I've got to bring it in towards me a bit. Okay. Let's try that. Okay, now it's saying it's been enab enabled now, so let's go a pit, let's see if I can see myself. <laughs> on the picture. Uh, 
Okay, I think I can just about work out where I am. If that's me, let's just do a bit of a flappy. So I'm going to put on, let's hide that bit there. I've got, this, I've got my thing on. So officially, the drone's working at long last. Now this, this, what, this what will happen, guys. Now I think, no, no, it's, it's got me still. I've still got an eye on the, on the drone. What I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to walk. It's, it's, it's realigning itself, which is good. I'll just drop that gimbal down. I'm turning around now. Now I'm going to get the drone to follow me now. That's, <laughs> that's the plan anyway. Without falling down, there's a hole just there that you can't see. So I've got my back to the drone, but I can see the drone obviously in the picture here on the on my device. So I'm going to walk on down, there's a bit of a track here, and just see how well I can going. Now, I was today going to put it in a car, but I didn't expect any problems, but just tonight, It's still following me, which is... So I'm going to turn around and go back towards where I've come. If you can see on the left hand side underneath the uh, return, you see a stop. If you press that, that will stop. Or if you flick up the S1 switch, which is on the right hand side, that will also stop. Now at the moment, it looks like, now I think the drone is still following me. Obviously, the newer drones are a lot better now because they've got a tracking mode on it and they're actually tracking yourself more than the old phantoms. That are they're following the... Uh... Right, it's just line up. Another, I think another thing you've got to do, guys, is you've got to uh, mess about with the gimbal. I think, looking at that, it's lost me, but. Oh no, there I am. There I am. So it's just me messing about. Oh, what it is, I've got my dark Polaroid glasses on and uh, <laughs> it's not, not the best thing to look at. So it's still following me. Let's go to the end there where this, um, it used to be around. So sound I haven't got my aerials right. That's don't worry about the aerials on this. Okay, so the drone's still there, and I'm looking at it. It does seem to be manoeuvring in the sky, which is good to see. I'm gonna walk back to where the cameras are. I think we, we can say we've had a successful follow me there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop the video. Right, and if I flick the switch up, I'll just come back to my camera now. So hopefully, can, yeah. So if I flick that switch up, if you notice, it, the stop's disappeared. I can take control of the drone. I'm bringing the drone down now. Okay, I'm just turning it. Let's bring it to the middle a bit. It's always a bit difficult when you're trying to... Um... 
Okay, let's just straighten that drone up a bit. Bring it in a bit more. So don't forget the drone's back to front. So you're doing everything back to front at the moment. Bring it down. Right, what I have noticed with the Phantoms is good idea to bring up the gimbal straight because it doesn't correct itself, unfortunately. Not like the newer drones. So I'm just going to bring it down. Bring it down. Another thing, will, another video I will show is uh, return to home. That's an important one to link. Bring it into the middle. That just cuts them dead. Well, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and turn off the drone and the controller. I always turn off the drone first. It's, a, it's your preference, but to me, I always like turning the drone, just in case for some reason it takes off again. So, turn off the drone. Turn off the controller. Bring it back. We'll have a quick chat. I was just going to go and cut out a lot of that video and just show me going straight into the follow me mode, but I thought... I'd, it, you do get problems with it. It's not like a quick flick of the switch. It goes straight into fully. Now, to be quite honest, I didn't even think it was going to work. Because, over, the, like I said at the beginning, I never got the fully mode to work. I think it was working this time. I will do another video later on um, out in the car. We'll see how well that works. It was a little bit um, not too sure of itself. I think the problem that I had, my own thought, I'd come out here and I still left my sat nav on. My sat nav was interfering with the uh, the app itself. I had to shut that down. It still didn't work. I then had to shut down the whole system, shut down the drone, the controller, the phone, clear it all, restart it all again, go back into the Wi-Fi, connect up the and it worked. So it does work. It'd be interesting though from you guys what you're using. Um, I've been using Android for years, and I, over the years, I did notice I was getting a lot of problems with the Android, and it's been over the past year or so that I've gone over to Apple, and I use um, iPads, or just recently I bought myself an iPhone, and yeah, no probs, went straight in. So, the next video, <laughs> I'm going to be doing the circle mode. We'll see how good that is. That's a pretty good mode for a lot of um, sort of video photographers. Uh, flying around a building and we'll see how that works <laughs> so yeah catch you in the next one guys and home hope you're enjoying it that's the main thing it's all about getting out there uh, and having a bit of fun but obviously being safe as well but anyway see you next time